Let me introduce you to one of the best delicacies in the world, Miss Sujuk. Sujuk and most of the meats that we like as delicacies are actually a way of preserving meat. Why? In the old days, there were no refrigerators. When a big animal is cut, it's very precious and people wouldn't eat all of them at once and would try to find different ways of preserving it and eating it like in small bits at different times of the year. So, it was evolved to be that way. In some countries, a different form of it is called chorizo. Another form would be called what? Pepperoni. Bravo, pepperoni. Sujuk doesn't always have to be this shape. It can be like one long one or small pieces. It depends on the company which makes it, the person and the reason that is made and the amount of portion that is going to be used. So this is one of the classical ones. It's called kangal in Turkish, but it can come in different shapes, which is same for pepperoni and chorizo. And it's very similar all over the world. So let me cut inside. It smells a lot of herbs from cinnamon to allspice and a bit of pepper but small. But in different countries in the world it's more of fat content, less of spices, it differs. But I'm going to teach you a technique to how to do it so you can arrange and make your own, let's say Alex's sujuk or Bahar's sujuk. Outside there is an intestines. You stuff the meat into intestines. When you say intestines, I can see your faces going uh, Actually, the intestines that are sold are now like this. This is real. It's come to me, I know. You don't have to joke about it. Now it's more like a paper. If I put it under warm water, it comes to life and I clean it one more time. But I know that even in Istanbul, it's really not easy to find. I'm going to teach you a technique that you all can do in five minutes with, if you have a bit of minced meat. Is it healthy with this? Unfortunately, this is a preserved mechanism, but if it didn't have a few additives in this, it becomes really black, very stiff. Almost all of the water gets evaporated. So unfortunately, almost everywhere in the world, they put additives to it. When you do something which has no additives, automatically it's healthier. Whatever you put inside, is, you know the quality of the meat you add, everything is under your control. So if we're ready, I want to start. Before you just start. What? Before you start. Before I start. <laughs> Now I get it. Before I start, me and my big team, with all our love from Istanbul, we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel. The world is going through hard days, our country is going through, our neighbors are going through really hard days. And in these days, we are trying to uh, put a bit of joy through cooking to our and to your lives. And if you support us by subscribing and also liking our video, it would be wonderful. Now, first, we have half a kilo of minced meat with the uh, fat content is really good. The ingredients, I have five cloves of garlic and garlic is very essential to sujuk. It dramatically changes the taste. Almost half a teaspoon of colored pepper black and a pinch of coriander seeds. And I also would like to add a teaspoon of salt. Salt is also another preservative. One is the amount of fat, the other one is salt. I smash all of them together, make a puree. The paste is like a sand. Now I can add the other stuff, which is a tablespoon of cumin, a pinch of cinnamon. It gives an incredible difference, an incredible richness. Another pinch of allspice. Allspice usually is thought to be a mixture of different herbs. Actually, it is this, these beauties. I could have used these ones. It has the taste of cinnamon, clove a bit, a tablespoon of chili pepper, which is not hot. But if I like hot? This is for you. This is a teaspoon. As I have said, this is a mixture. You can arrange your own mixture and then it will become your own sujuk recipe. Then I also add two tablespoons of olive oil for all these herbs to be able to be transferred to meat because many of the herbs cannot 
give its taste through watery stuff. They only dissolve in fat, most of them. It becomes like a paste like this and it has an incredible taste. Whatever you put this in, it will taste great. And the longer it stays, which is the beauty of sujuk, the better it's going to taste. So I add all these in. Another thing which will get these herbs to the meat is to mix it really, really well. Can I use pork? Meat? Yes, it depends on your belief system. You can use pork, you can use sheep, you can use cow, whatever you would like to. The important thing is it has to be 25 to 30 percent fat. Usually in the sold ones is almost 40 percent fat. We really really have to knead the meat well so the taste becomes really incredible. But uh, the herbs haven't worked on the meat as much as we want yet. So here is a meat that I have done yesterday. We made the mixture and after we net, we let it sit for three, four hours on the room temperature and then we refrigerate and let it sit in the refrigerator at least two, three days. Why? Normally, we put the sujuk in intestines and we hang them and they sit there for two months and they get matured that way. We don't do this, but at least we want to give the herbs a chance to work on the meat in the refrigerator and outside at least three, four days. And it gives the great taste this way. Here comes the fun part. We have a stretch film like this. I lay it on my counter. This is for like four portions. So I take half like this and I roll it. I put it like this, cut my stretch film, and then I don't even make it into a perfect shape. It will become perfect when I roll it like this. And then from both ends, twist it to one side and the other one to the other side, like this. It has to be tight. I roll it, the shape becomes more perfect, and here we go, ready. This is the basic one, and here comes the more sophisticated ones. One of the things that I like is halloumi cheese. Why not make the sujuk with cheese? So I get a piece of halloumi. I dice the halloumi like this and it's going to look really great in the sujuk. And to that I would like to also add a bit of pistachios. I'm not going to chop it very much because when I cut it, it's going to be chopped more. So I roughly chop. I have two pieces of halloumi and a handful of pistachios and this will go to two portions of sujuk. I add this mixture to half of the meat and then knead a little. Can I use mozzarella and peanuts? Good question. Not mozzarella. Why? Mozzarella would melt. If you don't have halloumi, we need a cheese which normally does not melt easily and any kinds of nuts would work. To show it that you can also make it with any kind of nuts is like I wanted to make it with walnuts because meat and walnut I, I think they go really well together. So the final one is with walnuts so it's going to be very nice. Okay, these are all ready to go to the refrigerator and they will stay in the refrigerator for two more days. Then I'm going to put them into the freezer. After they're frozen, we can eat at any time and they will be fresh for about six months. Here comes the fun part. Wow, no? It looks nice, huh? Mm -hmm. I put a bit of butter and then the sujuks. Now, sujuk comes to the table. This is like mostly eaten Turkish bread, white one, crunchy at the sides. You rip it. Can we say we can rip it? <laughs> uh, pull, apart. pull apart, pull apart. And then with this spongy side, you put the bread like this and press the butter. And take it like this. And you eat it. Every time, I get surprised. It's so good. Mm. Do you eat it like this always or can you 
can I break some eggs in it? You can eat this like this for breakfast or dinner. You can eat it with eggs, scrambled or sunny side up. You can put this into Meneman uh, recipes here or the people who watch from Mexico, Latin America, people would enjoy this. You can use this with beans. All the taste goes to the beans and they go incredibly well. Mm. That's basically it. Marvelous. Hope you liked the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because we count every day as a whole team. We count the subscribers. And if you do, we promise you there are going to be great content and you'll be really, really happy in the kitchen next time you get in. That's all. Take care.